Today we're going to put some ink on this wizard. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're having a good day. So the wizard is primed in Army Painter's matte white, just like the other heroes have been primed in matte white, because we're gonna be tossing some inks, some instant colors, and some other stuff as well. We're starting off with a instant color called human flesh. What better than using that on white, right? It gives it a human flesh color, which this wizard has. As you can see, it is very, very light. Next, we're doing his hair with another instant color called Savage Beige. He has this like blondish hair, and I didn't want to use yellow or bay blonde from the Army Banner. I really wanted to test just inks and stuff like that. So now we're doing yellow. This is a Vallejo game ink, and now, man, is this thing yellow. I thought it worked like other game inks, which work like a contrast paint. But as you can see, it's very yellow. So I use it on his staff as well as his as his, uh, his clothing, but it's super yellow. Now his staff has like a golden hue to it, but I want to do this yellow on it just so that later on I fix it. Uh, now we're using an instant color again called Belladonna Green. Uh, this is like a khaki green color. And as you can see, it goes on very, very light, especially on white. Now I could maybe see these instant colors going on a different base, maybe skeleton bone, or uh, gray seer possibly anything uh, I don't know because I think white is just too light and I had to put two coats on almost every um, instant color so now I'm using another game ink Vallejo from Vallejo this is violet as you can see this one works like a contrast paint it gets to the recesses so that it makes it darker in there it gives it a shadow effect it goes on lighter on the top part so that it gives it like a light effect but when it dries later on, I was like, holy cow, is this ever blotchy? And I thought like it would run like, in, like into the recesses and that. It's a little tough. So I went over it a second time just to give it that dark look again. Uh, and it comes out a little bit better by putting a second coat of this purple on it. Yeah, make sure you get all his cloak. As well, I make a mistake. I hit him a few times on our spot. So just put a little bit of white. That's one good thing about using a white primer is that you can just touch it up with some white. All right, using Sepia now. This is another game ink from Vallejo. I've used this on the doors. And as you can see, this is a nice brown leather-like color. And this one works well. It was just a yellow that was off. Now, should I have fixed the yellow? Should I have redone it? Hey, I'm sticking to it. It might be ugly. But I'm sticking to my guns and I'm keeping that yellow on there. Uh, but you can see this game, this uh, Vallejo game ink here works really well. Uh, it does a good job getting into the nooks and crannies that you want. Next, we're going to be using some lead belcher. Uh, this is a Citadel base paint. We're just going to be using it on some of the belt buckles and that thing he has on his head and just little areas in here. And here we're doing a dry brush, the Golden Griffin, which is a Citadel dry paint, uh, just to put on the staff a bit to give it a little shine to it. So just like that, I mean, you can have the wizard painted really quickly. As you can see, the purple's not super great. Uh, it looks very cartoony. It's not amazing. I'm sorry. I know. But anyways, I want to thank you guys for watching. We'll catch you all in the next one.